Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a super fun experiment. We're going to be making ice cream. So first let's go over what we need to do the experiment and then we'll get right into it. So making ice cream surprisingly only requires some simple materials. So what you need to make ice cream is one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one quart size bag, one gallon of ice cubes, two gallon bags, four tablespoons of granulated sugar, a half pound of iodized salt, but this doesn't have to be perfect, you don't need exactly half a pound, and one cup of milk. Whole milk works the best, uh, but if you have any other types of milk, that's fine too. If you wanna use a dairy substitute, coconut milk um, might also work. I didn't really test it out, but um, I've seen that that could also work. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your quart size bag and pour in the milk. The next step is to take a teaspoon of vanilla extract and pour it inside the quart size bag with the milk. The next step is to take the four tablespoons of granulated sugar and put that in. After that, close up the bag and set it aside for now. Next, take your two gallon bags and put one inside of the other. Then pour the ice into the two gallon bags. Next, take the half a pound of iodized salt and pour it into the ice. This is the main scientific component of this experiment, which we'll talk about later. Next, take the quart size bag and mix up all the ingredients inside. Then seal the bag up and put it inside the two gallon size bag with the ice inside it. Make sure all the bags are sealed super tightly so that nothing leaks and that the salt water does not get inside the milk mixture. Otherwise, you'll get really salty ice cream, so that isn't good. After everything is sealed, shake the bag for 10 to 15 minutes. Put on gloves after a while because the ice will get super cold. Once everything's done, you can slowly open everything up and take the ice cream out. Rinse the bag before you open the ice cream mixture so that the ice doesn't get inside the ice cream, and then enjoy. So now let's talk about how this works. When you add the iodized salt to the water, the freezing point of the water salt mixture is now much lower than it was before you added the salt. So you might see that when it snows outside, people might add salt to their driveways in order to melt the snow and clear up the driveway. The reason for doing this is very similar to what we're talking about now. If you add the salt to the water, the freezing point is much lower, which makes this mixture melt faster because it is nowhere near to its freezing point. However, in order for it to melt, it needs to take heat from an outside environment. In this case, it takes the heat from the milk mixture we made earlier. As we mentioned, when things melt, they absorb heat from their outside environment, which makes the outside environment become colder. In this case, the water and salt mixture absorbs a lot of heat, which makes the outside surroundings turn very, very cold. This allows the ice cream mixture to become cold enough to harden and combine and turn into ice cream. So that's how this works. It's super cool and so tasty. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. It was super fun to make and I hope that you guys have an equal amount of fun um, doing the experiment. Make sure that you tell me how your ice cream turned out in the comments and like this video if you enjoyed the ice cream and or hearing about me making ice cream. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me and also you won't miss our future experiments. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys.